as soon as I saw them, I knew. Oh, as soon as you saw him, as soon as I saw him in the door, I knew what it was. It was the day that Nancy Dankos learned that her son, 17-year-old Stephen, had been killed in a car crash. The River Hill High School student athlete was a passenger in a car that overturned in Howard County in November of 2009. Before that crash, he and the driver were at a party where the parents allegedly allowed underage drinking. I did not realize this was going on in the homes. I mean, how would you know? I had no clue. These adults allow this to go on in their home and they think it's okay. Now, the state's highest court has ruled that adults who allow underage drinking on their property can be held civilly liable for the consequences. And that includes whether or not the minor themselves becomes injured or injures someone else, including hits them on the highway. This is a major change in Maryland law. As Tim Maloney, the attorney who tried and won the case, explains, it means that the adults can be taken to court and sued for damages which is possibly the next step for Nancy, but she's focused on more than just that. She set up a foundation in Stephen's name, and she speaks to high schoolers about the dangers of underage drinking. The Court of Appeals decision, she hopes, will help change behavior. You know, maybe there was a purpose for Stephen going, you know. Maybe, maybe through his death, you know, he's gonna save a lot of lives. I'm hoping that now parents will realize that if you do this, you're gonna be held responsible. And so there are exceptions to the decision. Parents are allowed to serve alcohol for their own children in the house or for a religious ceremony, for example. That's on the civil side. On the criminal side, state lawmakers passed a law this year that allows jail time for parents who supply alcohol to minors. Reporting live in the studio, Kai Reed, WBAL TV 11 News.